Hello, guys. So uh, this is the second example for PNB transistors. Okay, uh, we explored the simple circuit in the first video. It was working in active. Let's now solve this one. Okay, I said in, in the previous video it would be working in saturation. You know, but let's check how you know we can deal with such circuits. You know, how we you know uh, assume some things in how we can find something inconsistent. You know, and then how to go again and assume another stuff. So again, we start by assuming it's active. So let's assume it's active. In transistor circuits, it's really hard to tell if it's, it's, if it's a saturation or, or active. So let's assume, uh, you know, we assume all the time active. Okay. So uh, uh, again, so let's draw this battery like this. Five volt. This is VEB. Remember, this is the emitter. This is the base. This is the collector. Uh, IC is going out of the collector. IB is going out of the base. IE is going into. Look, this is the wrong. This is a mistake. So it's going into the, the emitter. So this is IE. It's really, you know, uh, tricky here. So be careful. So uh, VEB, if we assume active VEB, will be 0.7. So let's make the cash of here. So five equal to IB 10 kilo ohms, which is RB, plus uh, IE one kilo ohm, which is RE. And, uh, plus 0.7, of course, plus VEB. Okay, we, we see this cash of voltage, uh, you know, uh, loop. In the, in the previous example as well. But with no RB, there was no RB. Now we have RB, 10 kilo ohms. Remember, uh, either in active or saturation, you know, uh, no. So remember, IE is equal to beta IB, beta plus one IB in active region. So IE is equal to beta plus one IB in active region. In saturation, IE is equal to IC plus IB, that's it. Okay, and beta is known here is 30. So from that equation here, we can say that five equal to 10 IB plus uh, 31 IB plus 0.7. So only one unknown here, which is IB. So IB will be equal to point one four eight uh, four uh, point one oh four eight milliamps. I C equal to beta I B. Beta is known, so and I B now is known, so three point one four six milliamps. Now is a moment of truth. You calculate V uh, C. You calculate V B and try to, you know, uh, to find if G2 is really reverse or not. So VC, if we, is a point, is a voltage of that point, we can extend this minus five to a battery like this with this direction. So this will be the direction of ICRC. So VC is minus five plus ICRC. Uh, RC is 10 kilo. So, uh, and IC is known now 3.14. So this will be basically 26.46 volts. ICRC is big, it's around 30, 30, 31.46. Then minus five, it will give you 26.46. VB is the, is the voltage of that point in here. This is VB, okay. So remember, this is zero here. This is the ground. Okay, so, and this is IBRB, the voltage across RB, 10 kilo ohms. So VB is basically IBRB. And IBRB is 1.4, since RB is 10 kilo ohms, and IB is 0.1, so this will be 1.048 uh, uh, volt. And there is a problem now because the collector, which is B, 
has higher voltage than the uh, base which is in. So based on that, G2 is forward. It's extremely forward bias behavior. Okay, so VCB here, which is basically around 25 or something, 25.4 around, is not less than 0.4. So the assumption isn't correct. So it's not active. So what else? Since we have biasing, we have you know batteries that gives a 0.7 for VEB, then it basically in saturation. But we're gonna assume again, and we're gonna verify at the end. So we have the tools to do everything. So we're gonna assume saturation. In saturation, we still have VEB equal to 0.7 because this is you know uh, BNB transistor, so not the not the it's VEB. And we have IC less than or equal to beta IB. It's not equal anymore. And we have a new, you know, equation here that VEC is going to, and independent was VC, now it's VEC. So how we can use this new, uh, new, uh, you know, equation to solve our circuit, just to Kirchhoff. As we will see, everything is Kirchhoff. You know, you know, course, if you, you know, you know this this course. So here is VEB, 0.7. It's known. Here is VEC. It's 0.2. It's known. Can we calculate VBC or VCB? I'm sorry. This is base. This is collector VCB. Yes, you can. Just make a Kirchhoff like this. So using Kirchhoff, KVL. You can see that VCB plus VEC equal to VEB. So from that, VCB, which is unknown, plus VEC, which is 0.2, equal to VEB, which is 0.7. So from that, VCB equal to 0.5. But now why, why are we calculating VCB? We're going to use it. We're going to use it in a moment. Is there another way? Maybe you are not convinced that this is Kirchhoff. Of course, it's a Kirchhoff, but you know, actually there is another trick that you can do uh, VCB uh, and calculate it. So basically we know that VEB is 0.7 and it is basically VE minus VB. Then add and subtract VC. You didn't, you know, uh, make anything because you are adding or subtracting first VC and adding it again here. Nothing changes because basically I can just, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, subtract VC from VC again, it would be zero. But now VE minus VC is basically VEC, which is known point two. And what is that? This is basically VCB. So 0 0.7 equal to 0 0.2 plus VCB. So again, VCB is 0.5. So you can go with Kirchhoff or basically this trick. Actually, both are the same. But why we calculated VCB? Let's see, let's see now. Okay. So let's calculate the currents. So IE is going into the emitter. So it's basically this point, which is 5 minus this point, which is VE over one kilo ohm. So IE equal to five minus VE over uh, one kilo ohm. But what is VE? Let's, let's check. If it is the voltage of that point, it can be said it's equal to VB plus the point seven, right? So five minus VB plus 0.7 over one kilo. So basically it's 4.3 plus VB. This is one equation in two unknowns, so IE and VB. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna calculate all the currents and you will find that all the current are in, uh, in function as a fun is, is, is function of VB. But we have a, a, an equation for the current that IE is equal to IC plus VB. Then we will get an equation with only one unknown, which is VB. Let's see this. How about IB? 
IB is the most, you know, easy here. So basically VB minus zero over 10 kilo ohm. So IB equal to VB minus zero over 10 kilo ohm. So it's 0.1 VB. How about IC? IC is flowing out of the, uh, the collector. So it's equal to VC minus, minus, minus five over 10 kilo ohms. So I see equal to VC minus minus five over 10 kilo ohms. What is VC? We're gonna do with VC what we did with VE. So VC is the voltage of Z point. It's equal to the voltage of Z point, which is the base plus VCB. That's why we calculated VCB in the beginning. <coughs> so VC is VB plus VCB. Plus five because minus five is minus minus is basically plus over ten. So I C is equal to V B is not known for us. Okay. V C B is known. It's point five plus five, so it's plus five point five over ten. Look, I C is a function of V B only. I B is a function of V B only. I E is also a function of V B only. And you remember that IE equal to IC plus IB all the time. Saturation active, even cutoff, but in cutoff, both IC and both IB are zero, so IE is also zero. Okay, so if we compensate, RE, IE is 4.3 plus VB. IC is basically, uh, you can say 0.1 VB plus 0.55, and IB is 0.1 VB. This is only one equation you wanna know, which we can solve in a very easy way. Let's check the answer here. So VB from that equal to uh, 31.125 volt. Once you calculate VB, you calculate IC, you calculate uh, IB, you calculate IB, because all of them are a function of VB. So. That's what we're gonna do now. So IC is equal to 0.862. IE is 1.175. And IB is 0.3125. And now the moment of truth. IC over IB, if we are inactive, this should be beta. If we are in saturation, this should be less than beta. So IC over IB, it's uh, 0.862 over 0.3, it's around two point something, basically 2.75, which is basically less than beta, which is 30 in that example. Okay, so that's basically the correct answer. Okay, guys, so this is basically an example for a BMB transistor working in saturation region, as you see, it's exactly the same analysis as we see in, uh, you know, with uh, with NBN again. Again, you know, the conclusion from the previous or this example is that the analysis for the BNB transistors are exactly the same as the NB transistor, but you just look for, you know, or be careful with the direction of the currents, they are opposite, and also the direction of the voltages, they are also opposite. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video, bye-bye.